What's going on guys, we're here today, and today we're going to be reacting to, uh, to Toucan LDM's, uh, Meets My Little Pony series. This one is Kim Possible Meets My Little Pony. I have been slightly spoiled a little bit, but nothing major. I was expecting this joke to be put into the reaction anyways, because, uh, because, uh, Brony Monster put his reaction today, at the time of this recording, and pretty much... I saw KP, uh, Kim Possible, of course, and Discord, which I know the joke, okay? So this one's nine minutes long. I don't think this one's going to be as long as the last big one that he did, which I think was a Sonic meets My Little Pony. Or was it a Sailor Moon meets My Little Pony? I'm not sure. But I always love watching these. These are always really fun. Even the older ones that are kind of low quality, but... No, nonetheless funny so not sure what to expect honestly it's been a long time since i've seen kim possible i know the gist of it she's basically a girl that's a secret agent that's her sidekick right there i can't remember his name i want to say it's brad but i think i'm thinking of my life as a teenage robot because i remember the guy that was uh jenny's friend was named brad <clears throat> but a little something to just go over real quick. I recently got a a question. Uh, someone asked me what happened to the uh, reactions to something sweet to bite, which was a uh, emo gex reading of it. What happened was unfortunate. I had every one of them recorded, but on my previous computer that I had, it crashed. It, the hard drive just complete. <laughs> yep, it just <laughs> completely dead. And you can't recover them. So I reacted to it. I didn't care for something sweet to bite. I'm not a fan of it. It's not one of my favorites. Never really has been one of my favorites. But And I do plan to get back to Princess Trixie Sparkle pretty soon. Uh, I just have to be careful because they're longer files, which means that they're big. So I need to be careful. So not really sure what to expect here. But let's just do it. Uh, Kim Possible meets Mellow Pony. Three, two, one, start. A Toucan LDM production. Chap. I am so glad we were finally able to move past that silly secret agent stuff and are still best friends. I know. I'm just glad my best friend ever was able to understand my secret life as a you know what. For sure. Anything for my best friend ever. Thanks, best friend. Just say it already. I mean, honest. And yeah, there's a running joke with them. Okay. I remember he was the bad guy. Oh, gosh. Uh, Bon Bon, you're seeing like a human. Lyra, I understand. You, no. Oh, dear. Uh, of course, Lever and Bonbon bon are the ones that get picked on. The hell? Good question. Okay. Hey, Derpy. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Oh dear. Um. So we're stuck in a dimension where we have these little horses running around, and I don't know. I'm doing something logical, like trying to get something. I'm getting flashbacks to a certain fic. something you know nothing about. Genius. I can't remember their names. If this plan works, we can be swimming in unlimited power. Come on, Lyra. Teleport! Never you're a you're unicorn. Electricity bill. Whoa, the scale is so small. <clears throat> yeah, I remember she did. I remember he was like the failure and she was like the me, successful one. Seriously? It's like, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Their powers come from their horns. It's 
Uh, no. You're not the brightest thing, are you? Well, this was fun, but I'm rather... Wow, that sounds a lot like Rainbow Dash. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I know you don't. And then... You're not going anywhere unless you're gonna help us out. Uh, that don't work. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways, what, where I was going with that was, uh, that basically Lyra, like, unicorn magic doesn't come from the horn, necessarily. It comes from, like, within. I hate how they say best friend. Just say it. They're lesbians. The fandom knows it. Oh. Oh, this is kind of cool. Knew it. I knew that. I knew that joke was gonna come either way. Either way, it was coming. I love you. Okay. Well, that makes. Okay, so is KP one of the voice actors? That would make more. That would make sense. If she's actually being KP, that would be hilarious. Just say it, Mara friend. Actually, there is a little bit of time. What? I apparently didn't hear his name very well. Goodbye, favorite horse. <laughs> that's Will. That's he Will. My dreams. I love Kim Possible a lot. Subscribe today. Oh, oh man, the pandering. I don't, I don't really care either way. Eh. I. Yeah. Wow. No more teleportation tricks for you. Um. Who these equines can do all that? That still doesn't help. So my tiny. Oh my god. Is Discord best pony? Are Celestian Discord dating? Fluttershy crushed. Rarity tells all. Fall line. I don't know. Maybe you should try and take something that's a little more powerful than the first thing you see. Alright. What about Twilight? You know, Alicorn Princess. We can take this show on the road. Uh, now, as much as it sounds cliche, take me to your leader. Oh no. my god. No, 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 no. Wow, wow, wow. Dun, dun, dun. That's what happened, Princess Lyra. Ah, so we are going to Celestia. To get... Well, I think our best course of action is... Hang on, I want to read that to-do list. ...to have them split up and track down Lyra. <laughs> or she can just come... Stupidly, right to us. Wow, she does look powerful. She I is. Her, if I would be able to power her sister's even more powerful. That one. Well, you might miss out on the way in the other room if you try to capture me. There's free food in there too. Cholastia. Did she say free? Why? Make sure you don't touch the mirror next to the buffet table. It's over, Draken. I think she can. The mirror. Probably. That's probably a reference. Can't I don't get it. She don't care. Right on it. Yeah, she has like fire powers. That easy. I was only getting Really? Thank you. Lyra, on bon. Oh my god, just kiss already. <laughs> my bestie is best best mirror buddy, pal chum, girlfriend in the whole wide galaxy within the world. She said it. What? I love you. She said it. And she just said the L word. Thanks for helping out, princess. You made our jobs much more easier. Despite me not doing anything at all. Kinda a letdown. Hmm. You're welcome, small non-pony spy. <laughs> well, you're a little non-pony spy. What's taking Ron Have so long? Ah, finally. He found the equestrian. Oh, that's the mirror. Not sure why I can't believe I didn't see that. Not that was that was stupid. I'm stupid. 
I'm so stu- Wait a minute, who's on the background? Who the hell is that in the background? Oh, it's Taco Tuesday. Written by, yeah. Okay. As herself. I think. Or okay, she contrib She contributed smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something after the credits on the scenario, one of these. Man, all I want is Dragon to give a kiss to on camera, and they did that one time, but it doesn't count because she had this modulator thing, and it, like, affected how she was acting for certain people, and it's not fair, because she's given her on kiss on camera, like, at least four times. Like, it's not, uh, it's not even funny. But no one cares about what I think. And sure, like, there's an age difference between, like, a 40-year-old guy and, like, a 27-year-old chick. But that's not as creepy as Fluttercord because he's, like, a thousand and she's, like, 15. But no one... Yeah, 15. She's in her 20s. That because I don't get why. Because I hate people and that's why I'm a horse. And when is this video going to end? Uh... What in the... We know. Also, I don't know who the character was that's next to her. I know it's a background pony in Canterlot, but I don't recall the name. Alright, that was Kim Possible meets My Little Pony. I want to go back and look at that to-do list, uh, so just give me a second. Return Cadence is mirror. Return Cadence is mirror. Return Cadence is mirror. And... Just a heads up, return cadences mirror. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I, wow. Uh, is this one of my favorites? I want to say this is one of my favorites. Just because of the randomness. Not to mention the very well put in jokes. Um, wow. But... Now it's got me thinking back to the uh, the EG movies. Did was the mirror ever in Canterlot? I don't recall. I thought it was the Crystal Empire, be because Twilight went there to uh, basically wave and smile, uh, <clears throat> and that's where Sunset Shimmer came through the mirror and took her crown. Man, I'm thinking back like years ago. Um, I don't ever recall it. Why did she... Wait. Why does she have it? She's got to have it. Because it never left the Crystal Empire. Twilight made an artificial mirror. But that is all hand hoof crafted. My bad. Sorry. So, I... Again, the randomness. This one was really good. I love this one. That was just good. And honestly, I was never really a huge fan fan of uh, Kim Possible at all. I knew it was, I watched a few episodes. Like, I remember basically the gist of it. Kim's, you know, a secret agent undercover. Her and the other guy, I can't remember his name. I, I know it was said, but it was said so fast I couldn't catch it. Not to mention, I, I was confused. See, I couldn't read that in time. That's very small writing on the screen. So it's really hard for me to read that stuff. Otherwise, I would have gotten the mirror joke. I'm like, what? Is that a reference to something? Yeah, that, that, that kind of threw me for a loop. But very enjoyable, very funny. But why was Kim against the color purple? I love that. that. That was so funny. Now, Starlight should have been in that scene. Starlight should have been in that scene. Go back to Triple Threat when Ember basically called <laughs> Starlight and Twilight the same exact pony. Because they're both purple, they're both overpowered with magic, and yeah, there's not much of a difference. Hasbro got roasted. So, this one was good. I love this one. Uh, the ending, though, the fuck is that? Like, I understand, she's drunk, she's an analyst, so what she's doing is she's just pointing out, you know, certain things that were there, but 
aren't there at the same time. Like how Lyra, it, I think it's basically a reference to how they try, how Hasbro tried to make Lyra and Bonbon just seem like friends, but it's clear in in Slice of Life that they were basically, uh, they were, they were showing lesbianism as a thing. They're lesbians. We know that. I mean, come on, they freaking smack butts for Pete's sake. But I'm glad they finally said it in the end what Slice of Life couldn't. Hopefully that Hasbro can get past the freaking kid-friendly trope and do some stuff that other, you know, cartoons have done. Like, going into Season 9, the last season, this... I don't know. We we need something. And we're going to hit 200 episodes, so that would be a perfect time for things like, oh, I don't know, Final to Talk... You know, Larry Obama to confess their feelings. Something huge. Like the huge things that the Phantom has wanted for so goddamn long. I understand the whacking is supposedly uh, like the voice of vinyl. I'd still like to hear her voice. I mean, have another slice of life or something like that. Even though we've had some episodes that are very close to it, like Fim and Misfortune. And I don't care what people say about that episode. I actually liked it. But this one was funny as hell. I... I, I I know that's racist and all, but that purple joke almost had me, had me peeking the mic. So, yeah, that was funny. I, he just gets better and better. I mean, I loved uh, Sailor Moon Meets Metal Pony because Discord and Sailor Moon teaming, teaming up is awesome. Uh, not to mention, it had a lot of good jokes. It had a lot of great writing. I can't remember who helped to write that one, though. Uh, I believe it was Pinky Rose, if I'm not mistaken. Where there, that was uh, the Frozen Meets Metal Pony. Or Elsa, excuse me. So, yeah. That's all I got to say on that one. That was a little different, but definitely was very meme and very, very good. I love this one. So, yeah, and I was expecting the KP cameo to appear. I mean, come on, it's screaming it. <laughs> I mean... I was expecting that, along with the Discord show up too. Yeah. What happened in the end? I have no idea. She was analyzing while drunk, I guess. So, I guess that's all for now. Like, I'm subscribing more if you want more, and hit that bell icon because YouTube's wonky. And yeah, guys, until next time, that's all I've got. And happy horse. Until next time, make sure to take care.